Once upon a time, in a remote village nestled between the majestic mountains, lived a wise old monk named Master Chun. He was renowned for his remarkable ability to guide people in finding their inner voice, a skill that had been passed down through generations of monks in his lineage. One day, a young man named Kaido arrived at the monastery seeking guidance from Master Chun. He had heard captivating tales of the wise monk and hoped to learn the secret of listening to his inner voice. Master Chun welcomed Kaido with a warm smile and led him to a serene room overlooking the monastery's lush gardens. Before we begin, said the wise monk, I want you to spend some time in silence, observing the garden and the creatures that inhabit it. Kaido sat by the window, watching the birds gracefully flit from branch to branch, the squirrels playfully scampering across the grass, and the butterflies gracefully dancing in the gentle breeze. As he observed the harmony of nature, he felt a profound sense of peace wash over him. After some time, Master Chun returned and asked Kaido what he had learned from his observations. Kaido replied, I saw how each creature has its own rhythm and purpose, and how they all coexist in harmony. Master Chun nodded, pleased with Kaido's insight. Now, let me tell you a story, he said, settling into a comfortable chair. Once, there was a young monk who lived in a monastery high in the mountains. He was diligent in his studies and meditation, but he struggled to hear his inner voice. One day, his master took him to a nearby cave, where they found a small, clear pool of water. The master instructed the young monk to gaze into the pool and describe what he saw. The young monk peered into the water and saw his own reflection, along with the reflections of the cave walls and the flickering light of their torches. Then, the master asked the young monk to close his eyes and listen to the sounds around him. The young monk heard the gentle dripping of water, the distant echo of their voices, and the soft rustling of the wind outside the cave. Finally, the master told the young monk to open his eyes and look into the pool once more. This time, the young monk saw something different beneath the surface of the water. He could see a world of shimmering fish darting among the rocks and plants. The master explained that the pool was a metaphor for the young monk's mind. The surface reflections represented his thoughts and emotions, while the hidden world beneath symbolized his inner voice. To hear that voice, the young monk needed to learn to look beyond the surface distractions and listen deeply to the quiet whispers within. Kato listened intently to Master Chun's story, feeling a spark of understanding ignite within him. He asked, How can I learn to look beyond the surface and hear my inner voice? Master Chun smiled and replied, You must practice mindfulness and cultivate stillness in your mind. Just as the pool's surface becomes calm and undisturbed, so too will your mind reveal its hidden depths when you learn to quiet your thoughts and emotions. Over the following weeks, Kaido practiced meditation and mindfulness under Master Chun's guidance. He learned to observe his thoughts without judgment, allowing them to pass like clouds in the sky. Gradually, he began to hear the whispers of his inner voice, guiding him with wisdom and clarity. As the story of Kaido and Master Chun comes to a close, let us reflect on the nature of happiness. Happiness, like the inner voice, is often found in the depths of our being, beyond the surface distractions of our thoughts and emotions. It is not a fleeting sensation or a temporary state, but rather a profound sense of contentment and inner peace that arises from living in harmony with our true selves. To cultivate happiness, we must learn to listen to our inner voice, allowing it to guide us on our journey through life. By embracing mindfulness and stillness, we can quiet the noise of our minds and tune into the wisdom that resides within us. In doing so, we discover that happiness is not something to be pursued or acquired, but rather a natural state of being that emerges when we align ourselves with our deepest values and aspirations. In the words of the ancient philosopher Leo Tzu, happiness is the absence of the striving for happiness. 
May we all find the courage to let go of our endless pursuit of external validation and material success, and instead turn inward, seeking the happiness that lies within our own hearts and minds.